We got a lot to go over. We're talking the best stocks to buy now. And these are the ones I'm going to show you some technicals on. The fundamentals speak for themselves. They have been growing. They've been crushing it. They are sector leaders. But are they at the point that they become undervalued? And that's where I think looking at the technicals, we are seeing that. We are seeing uh, an opportunity. I want to get into that with this video. But I got to tell you something. Let's just, before we do talk about the best stocks to buy now, you see the ticker behind me, folks? If you have ever wanted to have your own ticker, and it can show sports scores in the 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 whole stock market and stuff. And I had a lot of people ask me through the days, you know, how do I get that ticker? Well, I reached out with the company I got this ticker from, and now we do have a link down below. And of course, with this link, I told them, I said, if I'm gonna share this with the people, I want a little discount. So they do have a 5% off discount code that is down below in the description. You will see what that code is. Click the link, put the code in. You could save 5% and folks, guys, for all the guys and some of the women out there, if you have ever wanted to have your own stock ticker or score, uh, sports uh, score ticker, this is your chance. It's perfect for any man cave and everything else. I absolutely love this thing. It's always one of my favorite things I ever bought. And so if you ever want it, it's down below. Now we're gonna talk about a lot of other things. We'll pay the bills at the end of this video with the stock squad and the, the stock mo patreon and all the other free stocks you can get, which I'll talk about then. But the first stock on my list, and I have four of the best stocks to buy now for this video. And I wanna go over all four with the technicals. So this is gonna be an interesting video for those who are invested in these stocks, or if you're looking to invest in stocks, consider these. I never tell you what to buy and sell, just what I'm doing, but consider these for the reasons I'm gonna talk about. Now Tesla, everybody knows Tesla. And this is more of a technical best stocks to buy now for the reasons I'm gonna show you. Uh, and as you can see year to date, Tesla's killed it. And they, it just had a massive run up in the beginning of the year. And then for quite a few months there, you can see we got down to a low uh, about three months later, February to March, or two months later, two and a half months. Uh, and then from there, we ran up to new highs and it took, well, April to May to June to July, about almost three months. And then from there, we have just kind of jumped around, but we're still down 13.44 my opinion is, and I know some people said, hey, we got a head and shoulders going on here, Mo. And they're not wrong, but of course, I wanted to look at more than just one shape of what's going on and the overall market of the extreme fear we're seeing out there and everything else. So we move into the technicals, and I, I drove, I rode this, uh, I rode, drove, I wrote this chart up for you to let you see what's going on. And of course, right now, we are at a point of contention for the technical people out there. We had a very small volume green day, which doesn't make me all feel all warm and fuzzy inside. But, uh, you know, at one point last week, two weeks ago, I told you I was watching this. I thought we were going to have a run up. We did have that run up and it did spike up nicely until a couple of days ago we know we had the war we had a lot of other things happening out there and that changes that changes everything we were watching and you can see the five crossed over the 13 ema here and of course the the five crossed over the 50 13 everything's looking good we're looking good until we're not looking good and as you can see with this chart i thought we would get back up there and retest up into the 280s and hopefully two and this is the range i thought we'd get 266 to 280 no guarantees though we did pop up there for a small moment which i thought we would but the the resistance level is almost like it's perfect we hit it we got called down two days in a row third day kind of tickled it as well and then we come down and we fall underneath as a support of 256 and now we're in this zone the 246 this is the one i'm watching if we if i see us get below 233 i am out and i would expect that we're going to see the markets collapsing down uh and that that prognostication that we could see a strong october november would go out the door now i still believe we are going to see that and so i'm not giving up yet we had a nice little recovery today will it continue into tomorrow the data is going to control a lot of that. The news is going to control a lot of this. But at this particular moment in time, we did see the RSI above 50 got strength. And now we dipped that back down below. But for those who follow my bread recipe with the technicals, we did see a tick up. And so if we can break back above 50, I'll still feel good for the bullish. But if we get a new lower low on the RSI, 
it might be time for me to cut my losses and get out. And right now, uh, uh, that's what I'm watching for, for those wondering. Now, the next of the best stocks to buy now on the list is NVIDIA. You're going to see a, a similar chart, and you'll see the RSI above 50, still above 50. So the strength is still there for NVIDIA, I would argue, more than it is for Tesla. Even though they look similar, the RSI is a little stronger. So I think there's more money flowing into NVIDIA. So looking at all these different charts, I'm going to let you know which out of the four I like the best in terms of the best stocks to buy now, the top investments to make. And you can see the five crossing over the 13, crossing over the 50, the 13 crossing over the 50. This is like a perfect setup chart. We were buying in here. It rolled up. We had one massive down day. Now we had another day up. So we're I'm watching all of this. But this chart looks golden. This looks great. You can see a nice change of direction there. We had to sell off. Now we're coming back up. Is this the beginning of a new sell off? Or are we going to just have a little bit of a downturn and then back up? I thought we'd get up into this range up here, 280, 283-ish. We did get up into this zone like I said we would. I did think we could, before the end of this year, get back up to this zone, which we do have a few weeks left for that. Uh, the one number I'm looking at is 240 or 420 for this one. People said, what are you getting out at? 420 is the, the number I have. That'd be about a 10% loss on my investment. I would not be happy with NVIDIA, but at that point, I do think more downside would come. Uh, for the upside, I thought we could get back up close to 500 if things go right. One or the other is going to happen. Of course, I have my money on an uptick, uh, but the wars are starting to change a lot of the things that have been happening out there in terms of improvements. And that's something to keep an eye on, all right? That's something to keep an eye on. The next of the best stocks to buy now, I have in here Alphabet, a.k.a. Google. Uh, I'm a big fan of this. You know, it's funny. Out of all the stocks, I love NVIDIA. I love Tesla. But for some reason, Google, Google to me seems to have a ton of potential in terms of people not pricing it in. Like, everybody's buying NVIDIA. We know it's going to be a monster. Tesla, same thing. Everybody's buying Google, to me, is one that I think hasn't gotten the love that everything else has. Uh, look at this. NVIDIA, 222% up this year, 134% uh, up for Tesla. We go to Google, 56. You know Google has quite the uh, amount of engineers working on AI and other things out there. I like it. I just think it's way undervalued. And then we come and look at the chart. And... I pulled this chart up, and you can see, look at this, beautiful RSI above 50. We would like to see that continuing up, but that's fine. We have a little breather there. Uh, the 5 above the, the 13, 13 above the 50. Everything's looking golden in the middle, a little higher on the Bollinger, but that's okay. Volatility's picking up. You can see this, the opening of the Bollingers. I like this one. That's why this one easily makes it into the best stocks to buy now list for me. We're getting new higher highs. You can see this. Uh, you can see the low here, new higher lows from where we're at. And you can see it's working its way up. And so I like that. I like what I'm seeing. Volume's a little low, but that's okay. We'll see where we go. I, do, I just wanted to bring this up. You can let me know. I got one more after this. I call it the sleeper of the best stocks to buy now. And I think it will surprise a lot of people. But I'm telling you this, Google right now, out of those three, the chart just, and I like NVIDIA's chart, and I think it's close second, but right now Google's chart looks fantastic for the technicals. And I know some people say, well, you know, if we go out there, Mo, you know, how high can it go, blah, 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 all this other stuff, uh, based on what you're seeing. Well, for me, I'm telling you, I think it has room to run. And if I had to put a price on this, a 10 to 20% move from here to the end of the year if we have a good bullish run is not out of the question so I, i'm looking at this i might be adding on some leverage google plays i don't know i really like this a lot uh and i always when i look at the charts and i i put them all down next to each other like this and i haven't done this until i started this video man my eyes get open that sometimes the ones that are not being talked about are the better buys uh and video like i said love it have it tessa love it have it Google, I've been looking at, and now I've been reviewing, I think it might be a time to, to jump in. So I just might do that. You can come on over 
for those before I get into this last stock over the Stockmo Patreon. I have it over there. Uh, you can see what I'm buying, selling, and everything else. That link is right down below. I have my portfolios. I have everything I'm doing. And if you want to come over to the Stock Squad Patreon, I have that down there. Me, Larry, Josh, and Keenan all in one place. Uh, it's your opportunity. Get your free stocks from Weeble as well. Any deposit, a dollar or more. This is one of the best deals I ever brought to anybody. And you only have to put a buck in. You, you got to click my link, though. And then you'll get up to 12 stocks. And then, of course, uh, over at Moo Moo, put 100 bucks in. You get five stocks. 5,000, you get 15 and a free share of Tesla or Google. So good stuff. Take advantage of that as we move into the last stock. Amazon. This is the one. I, I thought this is the sleeper out of all of them. Why? Because I've showed you a lot. It has the lowest returns year to date. And I showed you how all the charts, according to my bread recipe, I call it, made sense. You had the five crossing the 13. Well, that works for this one. And look, that's good, right? Yeah, that's your confirmation there. We got confirmation, new higher, higher than that. So I feel good about this one. It did not cross the 50 yet. 13 did not cross the 50 yet. So this is in the early stages of the move. And so when you look at this, say, Mo, did you get confirmation on everything? No, I got confirmation on the uh, EMAs. I got confirmation on the Bollinger. We're looking good in the middle there. And then we're just crossed over the middle of the Bollinger. I like the, the bullishness of this. Here is where I did not get the, the, the confirmation. We had one click above, back down below, back up above. And so I'd wait for one more green down here, up higher. And then I would feel like I got the confirmation I was looking for, for the Amazon stock, according to the stock mo bread recipe. I like it. It it, and I'll say this again. In my testing for what I use for these technicals, it leads me down the right path most of the times. It has not always been correct. If we had something that was always correct, everybody would be trillionaires. And so, if you use it wisely, you look at it how I do it. And we do have the class coming out very very soon, folks. We are working on it as we go. We're talking charts. We're talking videos. We're talking written materials. This thing is next level. I'm a teacher. I taught high school and college level stuff, Mrs. Mo as well, and we are bringing it to you in a format that I think you guys are going to be excited about. If you want to get signed up on the email list, the first thing I'm doing right now is I have a free stock tracker I'm giving you, and that is on the house. That is down below. You're going to want to see this thing. It's incredible. We are going to charge for it, and we just decided, you know what? Everybody's been so good to us, just give it to them. So we worked on this for a while. It's down below. You'll see the link. It says free stock tracker. Take advantage of that link. You got to put your email in, hit submit, go to your email, confirm. You can download the stock tracker. And like I said, I hope you enjoy it. It is pretty awesome, uh, powerful stuff. Uh, get your free, like I said, if you're interested in a ticker for a birthday, a birthday or Christmas gift or something, the link's down below to get 5% off. It is awesome. And I do highly recommend it. I love it. The company's awesome and everything else. So something to consider. Get your free stocks from Moomoo and Weeble and then join me over at the Patreon. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.